The Brain Health Network is something that we started to meet a demand that we have in South Carolina to have clinical care for people with dementia. And we know that's especially a problem in rural areas of South Carolina, where we really have what we would call neurology deserts. So our plan is to set up a network of clinics around the state, and those are gonna be primarily in rural areas that are underserved. We call it a hub and a spoke model. So the hub is our brain health center, and the spokes are these clinics in rural areas. And having that proximity to the clinic in the community where the need is, is gonna make a huge difference. In addition to the clinical care, we're also doing research on Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. One of the biggest things that we're hoping to accomplish is to provide access to clinical trials. So if you live in rural South Carolina right now, your chance of getting into a clinical trial for a drug that might be the next latest and greatest treatment for dementia is almost zero. So we want to provide that access. That's number one. The second one is to do basic research on the mechanisms of different types of dementia. Alzheimer's disease probably isn't even half of all the cases of dementia. There's another type of dementia that is very prevalent in South Carolina, that is vascular dementia. Being able to differentially diagnose the type of dementia is crucial for the actual medical care because we know what your problem is. For the University of South Carolina, this is the right point in time for us to do this because we know the need is there, we know that we have the right staff. We have the Alzheimer's Disease Registry, a very strong neuroimaging program, and the School of Medicine that has a very good Department of Neurology. And when you bring all of those together, there is no other university in the state that comes even close to being able to accomplish what we can do.